Hi guys. So today's video is going to be called why we did this. Um, so this is my first wash with the PPF car um, post PPF. Now I'm still going to put a ceramic coating on the top of the PPF on the sections where it was done. Um, but this is first wash. The car's had about 200 miles on it since we got the PPF done. And I just wanted to kind of go through the entire experience. And realistically, we do PPF to um, protect ourselves from rock chips and from bugs and from etching and from all of these things that come at us from the road. Um, and then we do the ceramic coatings to make the washing experience better. And PPFs in a way do that too, because they have hydrophobic properties and because you can be a little bit more rough on them without worrying about scratching the paint. So uh, today we're going to be washing the car and I'm going to start off uh, with the wheels like I always do. I've got Brake Buster in my PF22. We're gonna spray Brake Buster on the wheels. We do some bugs in the front of the vehicle. I'm using some, uh, this is 3D bug remover. Um, I'm just gonna spray it on the mirrors and some of the front surfaces where there are bugs. This is all PPF'd, so I'm not as worried about the paint being etched as I normally would be. Um, but still, we're only going to let this dwell for a short time. We're also going to spray some here on the windshield and the top of the roof. Check out the hydrophobics on the uh, on the hood. This is just PPF, like I mentioned, and you can see that it's actually every bit as good as the door is uh, in terms of repelling water and having it roll off. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to soap it like normal. Um, again, that was just to kind of get the heavy off. So there's an interesting contrast there. If you look at the door, you can see how there's like all of this dark splotchiness. That's the soap actually beating up on top of the ceramic coating. But over here, this area is PPF'd all down the bottom of the door and up into here. Um, so that actually has the soap stick to it. Um, same thing with the mirror here. This is PPF'd um, and the hood. So you can see the difference between like the door and the hood where the PPF is versus where the ceramic coating is. And obviously, like I said, we're going to ceramic coat over the top of the PPF. So eventually that won't be that problem anymore. We have two buckets here. Um, this is the new Microfiber Madness Deli Mitt, which I actually like quite a bit. I bought five of these from Obsessed Garage uh, when they were released. It is a mitt that is designed to um, not scratch delicate paint. So we're just going to Take it easy, get the roof, and then we will flip it over, get the other side of the roof. It's kind of a crummy day out weather wise, but it's actually kind of nice that it's a little dreary. Um, keeps me from having to worry about moving fast while I'm trying to record this. Um, I like recording washes, but the problem is that you 
you need to talk to the camera and that slows you down. And then, you know, next thing you know, you've got wheel cleaner etching your paint on the side of your car. That's no good. So just working top down and on this PPF area, I can be a little bit more rough if there's a bug or something stuck to it. Um, for the PPF, do a separate video on this, but we did the hood, we did the, uh, the ducts under the bottom here, we did the front bumper, we did both lights, we did both mirrors, um, we did the A pillars here and the other side. We did the, uh, the tops of the uh, top of the roof, this whole front section here, into the whole roof. Um, two reasons. Number one, there wasn't a pattern for it, so it would have had to been custom and hand cut, and it's kind of big and complicated. And then number two, because the roof has a gradient, I'm not as worried about the, um, the possibility of ending up with a line that I have to polish out at some point. Because the roof kind of has gradient lines on it anyway. We got the car inside and started to dry it off. This is a Rag Company gauntlet towel that I'm using. Um, this 16 by 27 towel is the medium size and it can probably do this entire car without much of an issue. Um, <clears throat> you can see the difference between the ceramic coated portions of the car and the non-ceramic coated portions of the car with what the leaf blower was able to dry off. So looking at the door, there's hardly any water on it, but looking at the windshield, there's actually quite a bit, and the hood is kind of somewhere in the middle because the PPF is more hydrophobic than the glass, but less hydrophobic than the ceramic coating. Obviously when we PPF over, obviously when we ceramic over the PPF, we won't have that issue anymore. Everything will be similar hydrophobicity. So we're just going to dry this off and then uh, we're going to follow up with some drying aid uh, and the drying aid is just a topper or sacrificial layer of um, ceramic infused uh, detail spray that allows us to um, dry the car more effectively but also to um, provide a little bit of hydrophobicity left behind. So with the drying aid, uh, this is Obsessed Garage drying aid, I'm using a Rag Company FTW towel. Um, you'll notice that mine is gray. This was uh, an Obsessed Garage special edition version of this towel. I do have the orange and purple ones as well that Rag Company sells. Um, they are awesome towels and they work really, really well for drying aid, whether you're using something like the OG drying aid, bead maker, um, Griot's ceramic, or any other type of uh, ceramic based drying aid. Um, it's just a really, really good towel for this. 
OG Drying Aid even does a really good job on glass, so I am using this on the glass windows as well. Uh, just kind of going over it with one side of the towel, flipping the towel, and then doing a second wipe, and that's leaving me uh, pretty much streak-free. What I like about using the OG Drying Aid on the glass is that it leaves a little bit of ceramic behind, so it kind of repels bugs to a degree and keeps them from sticking for at least a little while. Um, what I found is that if you use this once a week, it um, does a pretty good job of keeping your car clean on a pretty regular basis. The uh, the Clubman hasn't been washed since I got it um, more than one time before I did a paint correction. So just going down the passenger side of the vehicle, you can kind of see the same thing. We're doing the doors, single spray, getting a whole door, single spray, getting a whole window. It doesn't take a lot of this product to get a great result. And we're just looking for um, drips and other areas that we might need to touch up and finding those as we do, um, wiping them off with a towel. Next, we're going to do inside the door, um, just on the bottom of the sill plates and also the bottom of the door. Same towel, same drying aid. I just like to do these last, that way if there is some dirt or dust or something like that on the um, inside of the sill plate and the door, um, I'm not going to uh, wipe it all over the paint when I'm done and potentially scratch the paint with that dust. Next, we're going to do a final wipe down on the wheels and just make sure that we have all of the spokes and everything looks clean. The drying aid works well for this too. It is not a high heat product, but it does a good job of keeping everything clean and uh, leaving stuff pretty much streak free. All right, well, it's really a pleasure to clean. Much easier, the water rolls off faster. The drying action is significantly better when you're using the leaf blower, it's much more effective. Um, so we're going to work on getting a ceramic coating on top of the PPF on the areas that were PPF'd. Um, so that will be the hood, mirrors, A-pillars, front of the roof, and the bumper. And then uh, we should be good to go. Just drive and wash. Actually enjoy the car for a little bit. So thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you're having a great day.